Hey, what's up? It's me, Phil. And today I'm gonna show you how to prepare RTC for making PS1 BIOS corruptions. So first of all, in your launcher, make sure you download RTC and BizHawk. Then you need to get the firmware for your PS1. If you're already able to play games, uh, PS1 games, then this is already done. Start your BizHawk with the firmware in place. Wait for the thing to load. And then you're gonna want to start a game. This is important because the BIOS will not load without a game in place. You can drag and drop the game in, in BizHawk if you want. The, the file open also works. Uh, you're then gonna want to pause the emulation and you're gonna want to reboot the core. This is important because you want to uh, be able to make a save state at the very first frame of the BIOS loading so that you get the maximum value for your effects. You're gonna create your save state like this and you're pretty much good to go. Just remove the pause, the BIOS is gonna load. Now, when you corrupt your thing, you're gonna be able to corrupt and every time you corrupt, it's gonna target well, whatever is in, in the memory, right? You can, you can even target the BIOS directly if you want. Uh, but this, this can turn uh, into um, a disaster if your intensity is this high. <laughs> Let's try with something uh, a bit smaller, right? Come on, don't be shy. You can give me something. A black screen with a long note. No sound. Anyway, you get the idea. This is how you prepare your RTC for doing PS1 BIOS corruption. Have a nice day.